no taming of me and my bra. Live like a man, but I'm animal raw. We are the murderers there. Dead with the jail and we the murderers there. Deal with the hell and discover the devil delivers some hurt and despair. Who's that? The push. Straight ahead, a bantamweight tilt between T.J. Dillashaw and Marlon Marais. Very interesting stylistic matchup forthcoming here. You gotta think this fighter is trying to figure out how to get the fight to the ground at all costs to use his beautiful guard cutting ability. Cuts it as well as anybody in this division. And it's not just the technique, it's the athleticism that allows him to be so successful and get that advantageous position on the ground. A lot of guys just haven't seen seamless transitions like the ones brought to the table by this young man. We'll see if this fight goes to the canvas, if he has the advantage we expect him to have. A six-time UFC bonus winner and the UFC bantamweight champion once again. Here is the no-nonsense TJ Dillashaw for so much of his career. He has fought only elite competition. And at the end of the night, more often than not, it's this man who has had his hand raised. TJ Dillashaw, Thrillashaw, TJ Dillashaw. This next guy has incredible takedowns. Both timing, speed, and of course, technique are literally top of the food chain. the tape for this bantamweight scrap. Dillashaw is two years his senior. The rest is roughly identical. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, USA, Marlon Magic Marais. And now for his opponent, fighting out of the A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado. Presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, T.J. Dillashaw! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment. Right. Ready. And we are underway. He will likely go down as one of the best Bantamweights in UFC history. The UFC Bantamweight champion, TJ Dillashaw. You know about his relationship with Dwayne Bang Ludwig. One of the better Muay Thai striking games in the sport, TJ Dillashaw. We'll be looking to put it on the opposition oh, here tonight. Get to the face. He's got him hurt here. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Nice leg kick. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Dillashaw. of the center line. We missed that kick. Big yeah, shot to the head. He's hurt. His feet. He is hurt here.
Joe Knight. Oh! He's hanging on here, but he is in big, big trouble. Oh! Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. There it is again. And here's a different angle on it. Ariane Celeste with us tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. That last round was an all-out brawl. The big oh! oh! He's stumbling. Nice leg kick. Body kick, look at that. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Going to the body there with the right kick. Dillashaw gets lit up by that uppercut, Joe. That one was solid. See the total strikes. Side leg kick. Oh, very nice. Boom. Shin to the dome. Swing and a miss by Marlon Marais. That one hurt. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Kick to the body by Marais. Under two minutes to go in our second round. Dillashaw gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave him up. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. How about that chin? Oh! He's rocked! Oh! oh huge right hand! hand. Body kick, look at that! Whoa! Head kick! Let's see some of the action here.
And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Excellent striking on display in that round. Jenny Andrade to get us going. Third round underway. Oh! Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe. And at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. Big kick, but miss. We show you. Wow! Oh, he He's definitely rocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Joe really started to pile up when it comes to the body strikes in the latter stages of this fight. Dillashaw gets absolutely punished by that hit. He is in trouble. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Effective punch there by Dillashaw. Good punch. Solid strike on the ground. Nice punch there by Dillashaw. Brutal strikes landed from the full guard. He's back in the full guard now. Under two minutes to go in round three. So clock starting to become a factor here. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. He gets hit with an outside leg kick. Oh, and he tags him with the Good straight. Right nice job there. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He is stumbling. Huge oh. uppercut misses. His front kicked him in the face. Misses a huge hook to the head. Well, you've got to admire the approach there. Just eternally aggressive down the stretch, late in the fight, lands the huge shot cleanly, and clearly hurt his opponent very badly. He wanted to make sure the judges stayed out of this fight. Mission accomplished. Let's take a look at that again. Check it out here. Boom! And that is all she wrote. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the, the official decision. To stop this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, Marlon Magic Moran. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. 
but you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.